Introduction of a renal papillary grading scale for patients with nephrolithiasis. There is increasing appreciation that the renal papillae of stone formers frequently demonstrate atypical appearances relative to healthy papillae of non-stone forming patients, yet the significance of these changes remains poorly understood. Prior research has linked unique papillary appearances to specific stone forming diseases. There is potential that endoscopic findings may correlate to meaningful clinical outcomes for stone formers, such as coexisting metabolic abnormalities, risk of chronic kidney disease, and likelihood of stone recurrence. However, the ability to investigate such questions first requires a standardized nomenclature to describe papillary appearance. Having endoscopically mapped over 300 patients with nephrolithiasis, our research team has identified a number of distinct and recurring papillary abnormalities. Herein we present a grading scale to describe the variable papillary appearances seen at the time of endoscopy. The papillary grading scale is divided into four domains, plugging, pitting, loss of contour, and the amount of Randall's plaque. Plugging is defined as yellow mineral deposits seen frequently underneath the urothelial epithelium or protruding from dilated ducts of Bellini. It is also used to describe the dilated ducts of Bellini themselves, presumably stretched from intratubular mineral deposition. A plugging score of zero is assigned when no mineral plugs or dilated ducts can be seen. A plugging score of one is assigned when one to five either yellow mineral plugs or dilated ducts are visible. A plugging score of 2 is assigned when cumulatively greater than 5 yellow mineral plugs or dilated ducts are seen. Pitting is defined as erosion of the papillary surface. A pitting score of 0 is assigned when no pitting is evident. A pitting score of 1 is assigned when there is some pitting but less than 25% of the total papillary surface is involved, as seen in the image below. A pitting score of 2 is assigned when greater than 25% of the papillary surface is involved. Loss of contour is assigned a score based on the relative degree of papillary flattening. When the papilla exhibits its normal tall hill or mountain shape, it is assigned a score of zero. When the papilla has partial loss of contour, it is assigned a score of one. If the papilla is completely flat relative to the surrounding tissue, it is assigned a score of two. The final scored domain is Randall's plaque, classically apparent as a white interstitial calcification near the papillary surface. Minimal amounts can occasionally be seen even in non-stone forming patients, and as such, when trace Randall's plaque is present, a score of zero is assigned. When a moderate amount of Randall's plaque is seen, a score of one is assigned. And when a severe amount of plaque is seen, the papilla receives a score of 2 for this domain. At this point, the sum of the four measured variables is calculated and a final papillary score is assigned for the individual papilla being studied. 
In this first reference example, greater than five yellow mineral deposits can be seen under the surface of the papilla. The largest of these is designated with an arrow. There's otherwise no pitting, there's normal contour, and minimal Randall's plaque. Final score is two. In this reference example, a compound papilla can be seen. There are two dilated ducts designated by the arrows. There are a number of superficial pits within the papilla, and there is evidence of scattered Randall's plaque. Several ductal plugs can be seen in the papilla as well. The final papillary score is a 5, 2 for plugging, 2 for pitting, 0 for loss of contour, and 1 for the amount of Randall's plaque. In this final example, abundant Randall's plaque can be seen. There is a large superficial pit in the papilla but less than 25% of the entire papillary surface is involved. Final score is a 3. 0 for plugging, 1 for pitting, 0 for loss of contour, and 2 for Randall's plaque. Reproducibility of scoring using this grading scale was assessed among four separate urologists viewing 50 clips from unique patients on two occasions each. Prior to scoring, each urologist underwent a 30-minute training session where separate reference examples were viewed together with experts and discussed in an open forum. All papillary clips were then graded independently in a randomized order and in repetition to assess both intra and inter-rater reliability. Here we summarize the weighted kappa scores for intra-rater reliability. For all four domains, kappa was greater than 0.6, indicating substantial agreement. Likewise, there was substantial agreement for inter-rater reliability for plugging, pitting, and loss of contour. Agreement for Randall's plaque score was considered moderate. In summary, we have described a standardized grading scale which characterizes papillary appearance and has considerable potential as a useful clinical and research tool.